Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, okay, testing, testing. Sound is good. Please check. Please check. Is the sound good? Respond, respond. I need people to respond. Is the sound good? Good. Okay. Right? Anyone? Anyone? I do, do go first. Don't go first. All right, sound good, huh? All right, if the sound good, then I will start. I will be wasting time. All right, those of you who are at home, all right, I do hope you have your notes with you. All right, okay, you have your notes with you, and we're going to start now. Sorry for the delay the, uh, the other day uh, on Thursday. I was um, having some serious, uh, how should I say, commitment. All right, so cannot be having the class, so I'm going to replace similar class today. All right, and the front line, please help me to off the front line. Offers, offers, front, front, front line. Okay, we're going to start with radiation. All right, and we're going to complete the work by today. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready with our food? Yeah, it's going to be evening already. All right, uh, yeah, let's run through piece of model of the atom. Everybody aware of this? All right, uh, it's very clear, very near to chemistry. We have the atoms, all right, uh, making charge particles. They move around. All right, these are the UPS stuff. Okay, UPS stuff. All right, UPS. They contain most of the mass and the neutron, proton. All right, and we have this. Uh, what should I say? Nuclear number, proton number. I'm sure you know what proton number means, right? All right, proton number. We have proton and nuclear will be uh, the total of proton and neutron. Okay. So we, we look at the second part of, all right, okay, everybody can see this? Let me just check and make sure it's okay. On a minute, just check for a while. All Oh, these are isotopes. Okay? If you are asked what is isotope, please don't directly answer. Isotope is having similar proton number but different nuclear number. You must have the subject. This is a subject of your subject of your answer. Alright, isotope refer to atom. Atoms of Similar element. Alright? So similar element, element means what? Carbon, carbon, carbon. But because of different atom, we got carbon 12, carbon 30, and carbon 40. Clear? The same goes to hydrogen. We have H1, H2, H1. We understood for hydrogen H2, deuterium, H3, tritium. Alright? So these are isotopes of hydrogen. And this is isotope for oxygen. All right, this is very, very near to chemistry. All right, so we don't look at that. All right, we will go to the next one. Uh, this is the main thing of your uh, chapter. All right, the main stuff that we want to focus today. All right, we got three different radiation. Okay, the first one is going to be, I want to start with gamma. We all know gamma is the most dangerous. Why most dangerous? Understood. Look at the word penetration. All right, penetration power. He has the highest penetration power. All right, that can easily penetrate our human body. Even thick concrete, concrete is thick, it can penetrate. So our body definitely can. All right, very high penetration. But ionizing is the minimum. 
All right, ionizing power is the minimum or the weakest is opposite. All right, and it can penetrate a few hundred meters or even kilometer, even kilometer to the air. All right, this one is what the range in the air, and can only be blocked by lead. Lead is heavy metal. And how thick here is written a few centimeter. All right, it is actually to be exact 10 centimeter of lead. All right, it is actually 10 centimeter of lead. All right, okay, it is able to okay? only only lead can stop and only lead can stop gamma. And one thing that you know, gamma ray is one type of electromagnetic ray which is neutral, no charge. Here, zero here. Charge is zero. All right, and you travel at the speed of light, three times ten power eight. Understood. Very, very high speed. All right, and due to the fact it doesn't carry charge, it will not be what deflected, neutral, neutral, not deflected by these two, electric field, electric field and magnetic field. Clear? All right, it will not be deflected. So this is all about gamma, and we know. Gamma is the most fear rate okay, of our new era because you probably read nuclear weapons which actually determine how strong a country is. Alright, very powerful superpower country will go nuclear. Alright, so superpower probably you realize doesn't include Malaysia. We have our own nuclear weapon, our nuclear weapon is called blow height. Clear? Right? We can blow and something still shoot out. Alright? We can kill, we can still kill people. We put the, the right, the right uh, toxic, okay? Alright? At the end of the dark. Alright? But nuclear weapon is far more damaging than our globe. This one, hundreds, thousands or millions can die. Alright? Okay? Either you die already due to the heat, extreme heat energy produced okay, and light energy plus gamma ray which will cause a very bad effect like genetic mutation that causes your your what your tissues and the cell to be abnormal once it is abnormal it cannot function normally all right so the tissues will absorb funny funny minerals it will absorb, you know, very high dose of phosphorus, all right, very high dose of calcium, all right, because it is abnormal, okay, abnormal tissue. And it will never, once it becomes abnormal, it will not become normal again. And some very scary genetic, genetic mutation is your white blood cell in your blood, your white blood cell, you will get exposed, they do not know how to function. The white blood cell is supposed to, what? fight and attack against uh, organism like bacteria and pathogen but it probably attack red blood cell all right it will die, consume and digest red blood cell so what happened to the system in our body it's going to be upside down all right so people who get exposed to gamma ray they prefer to die on the spot they don't want to have this suffering because you will never go back to become a normal person you live your life depending on drug you have to take drugs to tell your body system how to function normally and that is going to be torturing clear all right uh, nobody wants to take drugs to tell your body how to function and the worst thing is your red blood cell probably will know what to do all right your red blood cell will probably do something else it's supposed to carry oxygen all right it is supposed to transport oxygen and food to the rest of our body but it probably doesn't know what to do okay? So just imagine how scary life will be when your body do not know how to function. All right, let's take a look at alpha. All right, the name is alpha. All right, it's actually nucleus of helium. And we write nucleus of helium like this: four, two, H, E. So H, E, understood? Nucleus of helium. All right, positive two charge. That's why you see positive two. This is a mass. That's why it's quite heavy. All right, and because it's carrying positive charge, it will be deflected to the negative, negative terminal. 
negative terminal or negative plate of the electric field because it's positive charge and it will be deflected a little a small angle a small angle why it shows that it is it is quite heavy all right it is deflected a bit only literally bend a little showing that it has big mass but it has the highest ionizing power all right but penetration is the lowest that's why this is the most all right we call it uh, the most harmless the most harmless ray among the tree okay it doesn't then it doesn't harm the human and it can be stopped by only a piece of a piece of paper a piece of paper is able to stop okay how far all right and in the a it can only penetrate a few centimeter all right so you have seen everything look at the speed all right this now gamma travel at the speed of light three times 10 power a uh, this one will travel at one over 20 of the speed of light 1 over 20 is only 5%. Alright? 1 over 20 is only 5% of the speed of light. But even though 5% is still considered high speed. Alright? Even though it's. Okay, let's take a look at beta. What is actually beta? Electron. Alright? Electron. We write electron like this. Just now, in place of helium, we write like this. Alright? Electron, we write like this. 0, negative 1. So this is the charge. It carry negative charge, all right. And because its electron is considered very light, we put a zero here, all right. We put a zero here to show that the mass is very small, travel at the speed. It, it, the, the speed is not faint. Some electron travel at a higher speed, almost close to the speed of light, ninety nine percent of the speed of light. Some travel slower, three percent. And because electron is negative charge, it will be affected to the positive plate. All right, and it has a small mass, so it will bend more, bend more. All right, ionizing and penetration both are what medium, medium, medium. All right, and beta can be stopped by a few milliliter of aluminium. All right, to be exact, three, three mm of aluminium. Okay, remember that, three mm of aluminium. Okay, in order to stop beta, and in the air a few meter. So this is this is a summary of all these okay, the type of radiation we have. Okay? And we're gonna to go to the next part. Right? Okay, for theory, I will be using the blue book afterwards. We will use the blue book only for questions. Alright, take a good look at this. Alright, it's a summary of the three rates. Okay, shall we continue? The summary, okay, the summary of the characteristics of these three. Look at the first, the one in the middle. The ray in the middle is actually gamma. Why it travel in the middle? It travel in the middle because of what? It travel in the middle because it has no charge, gamma. All right, you're not right in the middle. But you know, beta negative charge, it will be deflected towards the positive plate. You go up, all right. And alpha obviously positive charge. It be deflected towards the negative terminal. And you notice that beta will be deflected at a bigger angle. This angle is bigger, all right. That's why it deflect more. Okay, all right. And it deflect more. It shows that beta is going to be what? Beta is going to be lighter, all right. So overall, this is a summary. Okay, and you look at the characteristics. We want to find out where alpha, beta, gamma go using your left hand flaming rule. Please follow on this one. Okay, you only locate alpha. Once you know alpha, you know beta. Gamma goes straight. This is gamma, goes straight. All right, you see here gamma, okay, goes straight. Let's take a look at alpha. Why alpha will go up? Because of okay, the flaming rule. 
All these crosses we show that magnet going into the white ball. This is your magnet finger. Go into the white ball. And your gamma, your alpha, alpha is positive charge. Alpha is like current. When you draw a circuit, look, let me show you a circuit here. This is a circuit of a simple, where a simple circuit that show positive and negative terminal. Where does the current flow? Current always flow from positive terminal. Then this is current. All right, current refer to positive particle, not electron. Electron will come from negative terminal. Uh -huh. All right, we are talking about what? Current. Current always come from positive terminal. This is current. Current then refer to alpha because alpha is positive charge. Alpha is positive in charge. So it's going to shoot to the right side. And this is your magnet. All right, magnet, magnet will go into the white box. All right, magnet go into the white box. This is a current. Magnet go into the white box. I repeat, current. Magnet go into the white box. This is a force. First, they will make the what? Alpha to go up. Alright? That's why alpha go in this direction. It's obvious. Alpha go up, beta, beta will go down. Because alpha and beta is always opposite. Is that clear? Now, if you don't catch this, it doesn't matter. Alright? If you don't catch this, it doesn't matter. Later on, you do question, you apply this once more. Alright? You cannot apply your quantity, you, 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 need to, you need to pick it up. Okay? All right, let's move to the next one. Okay, uh, this is also a summary of what uh, it can be done by these three particles. All right, you know this alpha. If a piece of paper can stop alpha, our shirt, the shirt that we wear, can it stop alpha? Definitely. Imagine a piece of paper which is thinner. All right, a piece of paper which is thinner by uh, then your shirt, you can stop alpha, sure, you cannot penetrate beta, okay, which is a okay, medium penetration. Yes, it can penetrate our body to a certain extent, but not all. All right, you need stronger, you need stronger. All right, but gamma definite. All right, so gamma definite, it can protect, uh, penetrate our body, but to what extent? Uh, this is the next diagram. All right, this one shows alpha. All right, you cannot even go through a piece of paper. All right, you see it's top. Okay, it's alpha beta. All right, can pass through a piece of paper your hand. Uh, probably stopped by a thin layer of metal, which is referring to aluminium. Remember 3 mm aluminium? All right, but understood. Gamma, the last one, it can penetrate everything, including concrete. If it can penetrate concrete, can it penetrate water? Hello? If it can penetrate concrete, can it penetrate water? Definite. Alright? So let's say there's an explosion, nuclear happened at waterfront, Gucci, and we are here in Chakma. It can cover a few kilometers. Alright? Even though we are away, three, uh, three miles away from waterfront, alright? We may not die on the spot, but our body gets exposed. Understand that? It can penetrate all the wall of our building. Even though it's made of thick, thick concrete or brick, it can easily go through. All right, the only way to not to go through is to have lead. So if we expect to have World War III and you want to survive, you're going to start doing this project now. All right, what project? Get a big container made of what? Made of lead and make sure the thickness Make sure the thickness of the of the lead must be 10 cm. How thick is 10 cm to be exact? Tell me how thick. Approximate the length of this marker. If you look at your ruler, this is approximate 10 cm. So start collecting lead. Lead in Barsa is called plumbum. Okay, plumbum. Where do we get plumbum? Ah, the, the, the biggest source of plumbum is from accumulator. The car's battery. Okay? The two terminal is, is lead. Positive and negative. Then you smash it, open up the cover. Inside you got many lead plate. Okay? Alright? Many layers of lead. Okay? By kepingan, kepingan, plumbum. Uh, you will collect that, you will melt it, 
you have enough quantity, you melt it, you make a tank like this. Uh, it must be big enough so that you can go in. Understand? Okay, you'll probably spend, you'll probably spend all your day inside because if it happened to be a nuclear war, all right, for the nuclear dust to settle, it may take half a year. So you need to stay inside for half a year, make sure you have enough supply of oxygen, you must have a system to supply you with oxygen, supply you with food, all right, nutrients that you need, clear? All right, and probably you, you probably you cannot sit inside, do nothing, right? You must have power supplies today, you can charge your handphone, right? You can charge your computer, all right? For all your necessity you must have, but you always also think of how to get rid of your product, which product, okay? How to get rid of your urea, how to get rid of your sheet, how to get rid of the carbon dioxide, all right? And you must have a cover, all right? Cover thick enough, also 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter of lead, all right? Which we use a simple TV, all right? So these 10 centimeter will ensure you are able to stay inside. Okay, give me one sec. All right, you must stay inside so that you will not be exposed. But the problem is, right? The problem is after six months or nine months, you open up, push a cover open. You probably you realize you are the only one survive. You probably recognize your grandparents, okay? Because you can identify the necklace that you wear. All right, you don't see body anymore, already fully decomposed. You can see the bone, right? You can see the big, big bone. All right, clear. Uh, probably you can identify, identify your mother, probably your dad. He wear a ring that only you can identify. Clear. All right. So would it be meaningful if you were the only living soul in this world? I think there's no meaning, is it? Clear. So let's say there is one day, all right, there's going to be World War Three, all right, there's going to be a World War Three, and all right, you know that an atomic bomb is coming down, all right, and a, 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 an atomic bomb is coming down, let's say this one, all right, it carry what, nuclear, nuclear uh, content, once it blew up, Gamma travel at the speed of light. You want to run, you must make sure you run faster than the speed of light. 3 times 10 power 8 meter per second. Alright? If not, you cannot run away. If you cannot run away, you may just welcome. Alright, welcome the nuclear bomb. Understand? Because eventually you will get it. Welcome nuclear bomb, you feel better. Right. Instead of running away and you still eventually die, you feel bad because you know that you are not going to make it. Clear? Alright? So would it be meaningful if you discover you are the only one surviving? I think we all better go now. Alright? We don't know how long or not. We don't know. Seriously, we don't know. If you ask me, I am not. Hey, I am not God. Alright? It may happen if you are lucky, if you are lucky, or oh, I'm lucky. It may happen two years later. Okay? Why I say lucky? Lucky for me, you know, I'm an old man. Clear. Right? Or it may happen ten years later. Ten years later is a time that you just finish your education. You know? uh, probably you, you don't take such a long time now. You are in four or five. Okay? Maybe you will do foundation two years. Okay? Study foundation. If you didn't want to study from six. Uh, maybe four more years. One. Okay, right, two years foundation. All right, you have two years foundation. All right, two years foundation, four years university. All right, you graduated. Some of you may say, hey, degree not enough. I will extend another two more years. Master, I want to lecture in the university. All right, okay, I want to be a lecturer in Oxford. Clear? Okay? Uh, maybe some of you say, oh, Master is not good enough. Another two more years. All right, you want to get it? PhD, people call you doctor. Alright? Okay? Your neighbor always call you stupid, right? But you don't want, right? You want people to call you doctor. No? And then I do more. 
All right, so you need, it depends, you want degree only, uh, this one enough already. Right? So, master two more, yeah. PhD two more, yeah. so take it. All right? But after these 10 years, it could be the exact time when the nuclear bomb exploded. Clear. All right, the very day you receive your paycheck, you could be a very, very, uh, a very, very smart and powerful engineer or surgeon or doctor. The very first day you, you receive your paycheck, you haven't, you haven't cashed it yet. You know? The day when you receive your paycheck, boom! <laughs> Pitiful, no? You work so hard. Yeah. Me, it's okay, I'm an old man. I'm 52, in a 10 years, 62. My God, so happy, man. I've got so many friends, 56 already go to heaven. 59 go to heaven. 62, hey, you bonus. Yeah. Serious, I've got many friends who retired last time, retirement 55. After they retire, they say, they'll tell me, oh, I go to, so I'm going to go to tour the world, go to South Africa, go to America, go to UK, go to, uh, yeah. okay, two years later, kidney failure. All right, the third year, I go and attend the funeral. So they, they have beautiful dreams, you know. Yeah. So many of you, my friend, you know, I didn't know to calculate. All right, I didn't know to calculate. If I calculate, I will ask myself, you know, when is my turn? <laughs> right. So remember, you study hard, but don't study too hard. All right, because in a matter of second, second, it will turn into ashes. Understand? Okay? You know what's ashes? The boom, the boom. Okay. All right. But you still need to work hard, huh? What did I say? Work hard, but not too hard. I will not do instrument. I will not do instrument. Okay. I will go to. All right, I will go to something else. All right, I will go to our skin instrument. I will do it later on. All right, uh, let's take a look at decay. All right, the big word is decay. What is radioactive decay? Spontaneous, spontaneous and random emission of radioactive ray from an unstable radioactive source or radioactive material. All right. To become more stable. What is the meaning unstable? Uh, this one you always use in chemistry. Unstable means what? Reactive. You know that. that why sodium? Alright, why sodium and potassium cannot sit still? Alright, it will because it's very reactive, unstable. It will ionize. Okay? It will change to something else to become more stable by releasing electron. Is that correct? Right? If I try to change to something else by releasing electron, no, then it becomes more stable. And you know why it is hidden, right? Right? This one you have got one extra electron and the outer electron balance of it. Agree? Once it donning one electron, it will have configuration electron duplet or octet, which is more stable. Agree? And the same goes to it. Unstable, it will change to become more stable, but it doesn't give electrons. It gives something very harmful. It will give up what? Radioactive ray. It will give up radioactive ray. All right? It doesn't give out electron. It gives up radioactive ray. And what does it mean spontaneous? You probably hear the word spontaneous all the time. Bahasa is called spontan. Something that happened naturally. All right? And Naturally, I'm sure you know, huh? all right? Early morning, the sun will rise, okay? In the east, that is naturally. You never teach the sun to rise, okay, in the morning, all right? Okay? You will think, you eat Ramadan, you throw the seeds. After three days or four days, it starts to germinate. It just happens naturally. You never teach the Ramadan seeds how to germinate. Right? The same goes to any other example. You bring your dog for a walk, the dog see a beach, run after the beach. They wanted to do some funny thing with the beach. You ever teach your dog? Alright, that is spontaneous. What is that? And what is the meaning? Random. Uh, uh, we got many atoms here, but which atom will which atom will decay? We don't know. It could be this one. It could be this one. It could be this one. 
And that's why we use the word random. It's a human. It's a human. Alright? Because many of you here, we do not know when you go away. <laughs> when you decay. So please look at your friend who sits next to you. Enjoy their presence. Because this evening, they, they may just go away. <laughs> Alright? Okay, now we can touch them. Later on, we cannot touch them. Please? Alright? So there is red. Yeah. Alright, we got many, we got many atoms. We do not know which atom will burst. What's the meaning? We use the word decay. Which one will decay to, to be to give up radiation? What radiation? Alpha, beta, or dark. Okay. These are very special radioactive metal. Huh? It's not like it's not like this aluminium. Huh? Alright, this aluminium or gold or silver, it will never decay. Understand? Huh? This will not give up radiation. Clear? Right, only certain uh, element can do it. Uh, this is what we call radioactive element. It's a very big atom. Understood? Uh, we dig from the ground. Mineral, we cannot produce mineral. You cannot make your own mineral. If I can make my own mineral, I will be sitting at home, I will go on one side after that. When my friend called me, I said, wait, please don't waste my time. I am making gold now. Alright? Don't, 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 don't invite me. I'm busy. Busy doing what? We can go home. Alright, we know minerals, even iron, silver, anything you can think of, diamond, we dig from the ground. Understand? The same goes to dig. Alright, radioactive element, we dig from the ground. Alright, so if they ask you what is radioactivity, alright, what is radioactive decay? Yeah, what is radioactive decay? Alright? But what is radioactivity? It's a spontaneous and random emission. You don't want the word emission, you use the word release. Of radioactive, okay? Of radioactive ray. Okay? Of radioactive ray from an unstable nucleus. Alright? From an unstable radioactive material to become more stable, okay? Radioactive material. Okay? And these are examples of okay, the alpha decay. Alright, okay, I don't use the symbol, I look at the number. Alright, I look at the number. Okay, I'm not sure whether those at home you can see on the screen. If not, I'm right down here with a thicker uh, number. 210 for lorium, 81 here. Alright, it will decay to become a lab, okay, PB. And this is alpha. Alpha we know is nucleus of helium, 42 helium. So all you do is we do balancing. We know that 4 plus 206. 4 plus 206 will give you 210. And we know 2 plus 82 give you. Alright? This is what? This is 81. 84. Alright? This is 84. And we know that okay, 2 plus 82 will give you 84. So you need to balance like this. Alright? We need to balance like this. And the easiest one will be gamma. Alright, we write gamma like this. Alright, like this, gamma. Okay, no mass, no charge. So no different. That's why you look at this format 60, 27. 60 at the top, 27. It gives out gamma because 0 and 0, the format will remain the same. Because 0 plus 60, you get back 60. 0 plus 27, you get back 27. Understand? What about beta? Uh, beta, you know, is what? E0 negative 1. Alright? Then I use the example at the bottom. Huh? It is carbon. Alright? Carbon in a 14 and a 6. It will change to nitrogen. Uh, this one looks very fine. But this is what happens. Give up. Give up beta. So beta is actually electron 0 negative 1. So to balance it, you know. Alright, 0 plus 1 will give you 14. You will put back a 14 here. Alright? And 1 minus 1 becomes 6. You know you're going to put a 7 here. So in other words, it looks funny, but this is chemistry. Carbon can be changed to nitrogen. Right? Carbon can be changed to nitrogen by releasing one electron. Clear? Yeah? Uh, please don't write your electron like this. Huh? This is what you learn in chemistry. Alright? Okay? Bohong. Understand? Okay? 
kebohongan besar. Alright, the right symbol is this. What is it? Alright, the right symbol is this, not this one. Okay, not this one. So, this example of radioactive decay, you look at some other example. I'm sure this is big enough. You still cannot see. You still cannot see, don't know what to do with you. So, how do they test you? How do they test you? They want you to, they want you to do balancing. Uh, this number they won't put. This number they won't put, they won't put. They want you to write a number. They'll give you 238. Then they tell you, all right, this uranium atom will decay to give out alpha. Uh, you must know what alpha is. 4, 2 helium. Understand? Tell you ask yourself, 4 plus 1. Uh, this one we don't know. This one we don't know. Eh? We don't know. Uh -oh, uh -oh. They will ask you what is the number here. So you must know 4 plus 1 to become 238. Understood? It will be 23, 4. Clear? And 2 plus 1 to give you 92. We know it's 90. You only know how to find the number at the top and number at the bottom. You don't even have to know this one. Understand that? They will give you a symbol. They give you X, alright, decay to become Y. Clear? To give up alpha. So you need to do balancing, that's all. Alright? You need to do balancing. State the nuclear number. Nuclear number means the number at the top. And bottom number. Uh, the number at the bottom of thorium. The isotope form. Uh, the isotope form. Okay? Another example. That was example one. This is example two. Uh, this one could be a little bit hard, but it's still doable. Uh, this is how we do, but actually no need. Let me explain to you my method. All right, this is uh, this is uh, plus and minus. They tell you thorium decay to give you plum, uh, lead or plumbum, giving what? Giving alpha and giving beta. How do I know alpha? Eh? Nucleus helium. How do I know beta? Eh? Clear? All right. So you know that the thorium is zero. So whatever number you put, you will still get zero. One times zero, zero. Five times zero, still zero. All right, so the number at the top, this one, doesn't affect anymore. Uh, then you can ask yourself, how to change 208 to 232? Or 232 minus 208, how much? You know it's 24. So how to get 24 when you know 4 at the top? You must do that. Oh, you must do that? Six. And then you have a six here. And then, in the top one, already balanced. You can check. Six times four, 24. 24 plus two, zero, eight. You get two, three, two, nine. Now check the number at the bottom. 82 plus 12. Why 12? Six times two. Whatever number you put in front, you must multiply the number here. All right, 82 plus 12. 82 plus 12. Alright, you know it's going to be a 96. Sorry, 94. But here is 90. Here is 90. Here you already got 94. So what do you do? You need to minus. And minus this nine. This minus. And you know you need to minus how many? To give you a 90. You need to minus 4. And you put a 4 here. Uh, that's how we get the uh, number 6 and 4. 6 alpha and 4 beta. Alright? But of course, whatever I mentioned, the calculation is here. Understand that? Alright? You can check with the calculation later on. Everybody have notes, right? Anyone? So those at home, I believe you print out your note. Alright? Otherwise, you have nothing to refer. Can we continue? Alright? We will move on to the next one. Today I will cover half of the chapter. I need one more session to cover this chapter radioactive, radioactivity. Alright? Okay? Uh, this is another example. Uh, this is a past year. Uh, let me explain to you what it means. Alright? This reaction consists of many reactions. How many? Alright, from here to here, one reaction. I probably leave from A to B. From A to B, one reaction. From B to C, one more. C to B, one more. B to B, one more. E to F, one more. Right, I want to ask you, alright, from A to F, how many radioactive particle is given? Say how many? Are they one by one? 
Okay, I write down, I write here. All right, I write A to B here. All right, I write A to B, what you see is going to be a 2, 2, 2, 86 random. It becomes hollow wheel. All right, DO. Uh, no need to know what is the element, just know the symbol is good enough. You know at the top, how many missing? Oh, 2, 2, 2 becomes 2, 1, 8. How many missing? 4. All right, 4 at the top missing. And how many missing at the bottom? 2. Then we know that is helium. Only helium for 4 at the top and 2 at the bottom. Huh? That's why from random here, how do I get the number 2, 2, 2? How do I get that? This one now? Nuclear number 2, 2, 2. How do I get the number at the bottom? Ne? 84, man. sorry, 86. 86. Alright, this is your A. Alright, this is your A. A change to B. This is a B, your B. So I prove to you, it give up alpha. This is alpha given up. Alright? Alright, but then from B, uh, then you look at the equation again. Alright? Then this one, B to C. I'm going to write it in. Hey, I probably look for this space here, correct? Alright, 218. Alright, 218 and an 84 polarium. It decay to become what? C. 214 and an 82 lab plumbum. Plus, we, uh, you do the same thing. Alright, we do the same at the top, you know. What, what, is, what number is missing? Yeah, 4 is missing. What number at the bottom is missing? So it's easy, we know it's another helium. That's why I know how far again. Uh, then we reach C already. Uh, you can check whether your C is correct now. Right? This is A to B, this is actually from B to C. Uh, you check your C correct now. 214 and 82. Uh, see here? 214, 82. Uh, now we go to the next step. C to B, I'm going to draw another box. So this question is a little bit grandmother, a little bit too. A little bit long. Alright. So C to D here, I write down here. Okay, say go to D. Alright, I copy the C. This is a C. 214 and an 82 left. Alright, it go to D. Alright. Now D is actually what? Alright, 214, 214, 83. This much A B I. Alright, plus then check what is it missing. Number at the top, what is missing? 214, 214. Anything missing? Zero there. At the bottom, 82 to become 83. It could become higher or lower. Higher, then you minus back. Understand? Minus one, two. And you know this is electron. So this is beta. That's why from C to D, this is D or this point. This is actually D. D. Beta given up. Alright, and then continue. D to E, I write a uh, square in red color. D to E, I'll be right again. D, huh? right? D is 214 and uh, 83 of that this month. Alright, it will change to polarium. Alright, 214 and uh, 84 and polarium. Tell me, number at the top, what is missing? Zero, nothing missing. Number at the bottom, what is missing? Uh, you need to put negative one, and you know this is going to be what? Beta again. Right? This is going to be beta because it's E zero negative one. So I know, I put in one more beta here. From D to E. Uh, this is the E. It doesn't stop there. You see the arrow here? You see the arrow? So E go to F. Uh, this is the last one. You can check E, correct now, E. E carry 214. Alright? E carry 214. Then let's check. Alright, E. Carry 214 and 84. Alright, 214. E here. D is. And this is D. This is E. Alright. 214 and 84. Yeah, E. 214 and 84. Okay. Now we go to F. And yeah, I draw another box. Box in blue. But this is the last one. Yeah, right here. Alright. Okay, now it's going to be uh, E, E to F, 214, 84, polarium, it decay to become the last one, 210 and uh, 82, left, 
plus uh, check again. Okay. What is the number missing at the top? Yeah, four. What is the number missing at the bottom? Two. Then we know it's another helium. So helium nucleus is actually alpha. That's why another alpha here. Got that? So you go from A to B, one alpha. B to C, one more alpha. Alright? C to B, one beta. D to E, one more beta. T e to F, one more alpha. It means three alpha and two beta. Right? Three alpha and two beta. What? Right? They ask you to find out. Determine the number of alpha particles and beta particles. Remember, alpha we call particles, beta we call particles, but gamma we call red, gamma red, because that is a red. We have sinaran, just like sinaran atari, that's why we call sun red. We never say sun particle. When does the sun particles hit you? Right? We say sun red. When does the sun red? When does the sun red hit you? Clear? All right. This is a past year, huh? This chapter is much easier than electric and electronic. Alright? And electronic. Huh? Okay? Short while, we we'll probably be covered 30%. Uh, this is only telling you what we call radioactive decay. Okay, once it decay, the number of atoms will reduce. Alright, it will reduce. Understood? The number of atoms in the beginning is great. Right, the key needs to burst to give out a new active rate. Then understood number, number of atoms become less and less and less and less and less. Understand? Alright? Okay, you can read those sentences on your own, that is not very important. Then we go to half life. Alright? And we go to half life. What is actually half life? The definition is telling you. Alright? Definition is telling you. Half-life refers to the time taken. Time taken for the number of undecayed nuclei to reduce to half of its original number. You can rephrase it if you don't like it. You can, you can write it in a simple way. Time taken for the number of radioactive atom to reduce to half of its original value. Very simple. From 256, this is the original number of atom. Go to half. We need three. Three what? Three what? Three hours. So three hours will be a half life. Understand? We need write half life like this. K and a half. Alright? Equals to three hours. Then you can expect another another three more hours. Alright? Another three hours here. Here, here, here. Three hours. And then what is this number going to be? Tell me. Oh, what is this number going to be? 64. You can't half. Then if we decay again, uh, another three more hours. Okay? Another three more hours. The graph is not good, but we know it should be some in the middle. They give you 30, 32. That is how it works. Alright? So very funny. Different mineral, different radioactive elements have different half-life. Some can be three hours, some can be five days, some can be two months, some can be five years. Five years only reduce to half. Some can be 50 years, you know, some can be hundreds of years. Alright? So different elements have different half-life. Okay? We're gonna move to example. Alright? Okay? Let's take a good look. This is a formula that eventually you will need to know. Alright, what is N here? N is the number of atom left. 1 over 2 power n times number of original atom. Okay, let's take a look at an example. Alright. I probably, okay, in 30 days, the activity of a sample of radium isotope increased to 1 day. 1 day means 1.8. Alright, 1 day. What is the meaning 1 day? Uh, you can do it in many method. I can do this method, okay? Probably here. I start with day, okay? 8. Mula dari 8. Decay one time. Right, decay one time become four. Decay one more time become two. Decay one more time become one. Understand? So the one left, the number of number of atom left is one. This is the meaning one eighth. One eighth of the atom is left. Clear? And you are told the total is 30 days. 
The total days here will be 30 days, 30 hari. And how many half life? One, two, three half life. Every one arrow, one half life. Right, one half life, one half life, one half life. Every one arrow, one half life. So we have three half life equal one to 30 days. So one half life, we have what? Yes, 10 days. Uh, that is our answer. Okay, but they, we can use this formula. If you don't understand this formula, it doesn't matter. Okay, I show again. Number of atom left. Alright, 1 over 2 power n. Alright, power n. Number of original atom. This is the formula. Alright. Uh, if you understand the language, okay, in 30 days, the atom. The activity of a sample of radioactive decreased to one eight. Satu pelapan. That means the one left is satu. The original is lapan. The original is lapan. Faham? Uh, this one you put back. Right? One over two power n. So if you export to the left side, you know it's one over eight. Equivalent to 1 over 2 power n. And you know that 1 over 8 is actually 1 over 2 power 3. So, 1 over 2 power 3 equivalent to 1 over 2 power n. So you know your n equivalent to? Yeah, n equivalent to 3. 3 times. That means 3 arrows. Alright, 3 arrows. Okay? n equal to 3. But you know. This three times is actually the total 30 days. Alright, total 30 days. Okay? So after you get a three there, after you get a three, so we know that three half life equivalent to 30 days. Alright, equivalent to 30 days. Alright? So one half life will be equivalent to, uh, you will get back your answer 10 days. Alright? There are many ways you can do this way. Most of the questions they ask in objective. Alright, so it's pretty safe. Alright, they ask in objective, it's pretty safe. You can you can do it this way. Alright? If you don't want, then you can do it this way. Clear? When do you use the formula? Tell me. When do you use the formula? If the number is very small, huh? No need formula, just draw a triangle, just draw the arrow. Huh? If the number is very big, the number they don't start from A. They start from, let's say, 800,000. Alright? Okay, they, they will tell you 800,000. Okay? We want you to decay until it reach number, let's say, number 4. Are you going to draw arrow? You will die drawing arrow. The first arrow, half man, 400,000. Right? The second arrow half man 200,000. Right? The third arrow half man 100,000. Wait, you have to do 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 until you reach to 400,000. And calculate how many, how many arrow part. If 800,000, you are lucky, you know. If let's say they give you 1.2 billion, you got 9 zero on one of them. But if 1.2 billion or 12 billion, 12 billion until 4. You are right, right, right. Before you get an answer, you fall asleep, you know, like a pig. Mahama. And then you use formula. And formula, you use calculator, man. You know that? You know that? Right? Yeah? Formula, you use calculator. Right? Then, then it's easy. Okay? But don't, don't worry. I keep on telling you, your SPM, right? Okay? Computer and a very friendly one. Understand? They give you beautiful number. Yeah. Right? They give you all the nice, nice number. They give you uh, from 100, you go down to only 10. Simple. Alright? Okay? Or uh, from 100, go to 5. Okay? Alright? Or maybe 100, maybe too big, you know. Probably they give you 20, you know. 20 give you, you know, until 1. Huh? 20, 10, one time. 5 and a half, one second time. You know? Alright? And you just continue to do it until you reach 1. Clear? Yeah? Alright? So, Okay, second example. Uh, this one also easy one. 
पेटी का दूध लो ओके दिस मैटेरियल और एलिमेंट टेक्स 20 बाय 8 आवर्स टू स्ट्रीम फ्रॉम 80 टू बिकम 5 हाउ मेनी हाउ लाइक आई नेम इज स्टार्ट फॉर 80 लो वन एरो 40 नेक्स्ट एरो 20 नेक्स्ट एरो नेक्स्ट एरो 5 How many? How many arrows you draw? One, two, or three, or four. Four arrow. Total time twenty from point eight out. All right. Four arrow. Four half life. Four half life. Total time twenty point eight hours. So one half life will be how long? Okay. Oh, but they didn't. They didn't ask for this. They only ask you how many times you take. Huh? Four arrow. Four. Four times. Huh? All right, four arrow for that. This decay process has taken the time of four half life. How many half life they ask? Understand? Right. Yeah. The question only ask how many half life. They didn't ask what is half life. What is the number of half life? Understand? If the number of half life, can you show it? Then five point two. Okay. If they ask you find find how much. So different question, different different subject, different request. All right, all right. Don't worry. Uh, a few more examples. We will come to the end uh, because I will stop at I stop. Up. I stop up at news program. I will do next week. Okay. That will be the last time of the chapter. And after that, we will be doing some uh, of course revision. All right. Let's go. Are you ready? The radioactive atom in a substrate decay to become stable atom, and we found that two eight eight second, six point two five on the atom have not decayed. What is the half life? All right. So they start about percent. You start from percent. All right. Start one hundred percent. Decay half, half left. This is always the one left. Thirteenth, one hundred percent. All right. Thirteenth, half left. All right. Then decay again, half, half left. All right. Then fifty, half or fifty is ten. Decay half again, half left, four point five. Decay half again, six point two five. Decay six point two five. Are we stop now because this is the number of atom not decay. All right, not decay means the atom left. So we know we draw how many arrow: one, two, or three, or four, four arrow. And four arrow it takes two, two, two eight eight second. Four half life equals to two eight eight second. One half life, then divided by four. Two the. All right. Is it okay? Okay, we see we still got example four to do, example five, all right, example six. Ah, that's all. Only three more slide. All right, only three more slide. Maybe look at our blue book. Okay. All right. Next question. Are you ready? Half life of iodine one three one is eight days. Radioactive sample contains sixty four gram of iodine one three one. Determine the mass of iodine has decayed and have not decayed. All right, the one that have decayed and the one that have not decayed. Okay. All right. I told you this is always the one left. Left, sixty-four. Decay one time, thirty-two left. Decay one more time, sixteen left. Decay one more time, eight left. So how much? How many left? Eight. How many? How many decay? And then your original minus the one left. Huh? Ah, clear. If you find that it, it's hard to understand, think of money, you know. Think of money. Then you want to go shopping, so your mom give you sixty four. 
Don't be happy, uh, 64 cent only. <laughs> How many of your mom might want to give you 64 ringgit? The moment you say, I want to go out and buy something. Nah, so I'm 64 cents, okay? Right. Maybe some other more generous stuff, right? Nah, but my mother is not. My mother will give me 64 cents. Alright, the rest, fine. So, uh, fine on your own. Okay? Alright? Let's say 64 ringgit now. Let's say you have a more generous mother. Okay? Right? Oh, you shop. You shop in a very special way. Every time you buy something, you will buy half of the price must be half of what you have in the market. Okay? You see a shirt 20 ringgit, no, you know. I must buy a shirt 32 ringgit. Right? You see one shirt 30 ringgit? No, no standard. No standard. It's not my level. My level 32 ringgit. And then you spend, and it's not a spend, 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 spend 32. That's why you left. Get okay, left 32. Huh? And then you know you got 32 in your pocket, or you, you buy something else. Or you probably buy underwear. You must look for underwear that costs 16. The one that costs 15 and a half, no, you tell the sales girl. No standard. Then you buy. Then what? You spend, you spend 16. That's why 16 left. So, I then you buy something, you probably buy something to eat. Alright? Then if you spend in a special way, you only spend half. Clear? And then you buy something, you spend another eight. Uh, left, left eight. Alright? So how much do you actually left eight? How much you spend? Are you better? This one, you add the days, you add the days. Fine? Easy job. 32 plus 8, 40. 40 plus 16, 56. Fine? 56. At that point, the original money given to you, 64, minus the one left in your pocket. Minus the one in your pocket, at least the one you spend. Okay? Alright? Let me tell you what, if you spend like this year, you never go broke now. Why you never go broke? Why? You got 8 ringgit now? You will spend one more time, 4 ringgit. Spend again one more time, 4 ringgit. Spend again one more time, 1 ringgit. Stay away from 50 cents. Okay? 50 cents. Spend one more time, 25 cents. Spend one more time, 12 and a half cents. If I ask you for money or not, God. Your mother asks you for money or not, son? God. You spend, 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 until one cent. You pass you for money, no? Yes. Spend again. Half cent. Spend again. One quarter cent. Spend again. One of eight cent. You never go broke. What else you see? You can spend until you know, one over one thousand cent. Your mother asks you, son, for money? Oh, God. Please don't give me, I still have money. Spend it! Spend it! <laughs> Spend until no more likes, you know. Alright? So that's why you see your graph. That's why you see your graph, a very special graph. Your graph is this graph. You spend your money, it will never go to zero. No matter how small, no matter how small, your graph, your graph will drop, 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 drop. You still continue, you know, continue, you know. Your money is not asking you, you know, your money is not the sun. Go to God, God, go to God, God, go to God, God, God. I say God. Because it never reaches zero. It never cut. Never cut. Never cut. Never cut. Never cut. If every one of you spend our money like this, you never go broke. Your mother only give you me to give you money one time in your life. Yeah. Understand? All right. Just to tell you, okay? just to tell you. Uh, in other words, that's why radiation can last for a long, long time. Clear. The number of atoms never becomes zero. Clear. All right. Huh? 
Okay, I think uh, we have done this. This is the last slide. All right, this is the last slide. It's almost similar. Can I mind this read? Yeah, let's read. Okay. A sample of lab 211 max 96 gram has a half life 36.1 minute. What fraction of the sample has not decayed after 108.3 minutes? And what is the mass of the decay product after this period? And then you find how many half life? Look, easy job. Lah. One half life is 36. One half life is 36. One half life is 36.1 minute. All right, now we have what? 108, normally calculator. All right, use your, use your nose, you can smell. Good. Right, use your nose. You know it's a three times. Good. Three times understood, now you go three arrow. You know three arrow, you start from 96. Three arrow. One arrow, half left, 48. One more arrow, six arrow, half left, 24. Third arrow, 12 left. Top left. Uh, this is your answer. What fraction? Uh, they want pecahan. No? They want pecahan. Fraction means pecahan. Of the sample that have not decayed. 12 over original. Uh -huh. Okay? If they ask you how many left, answer is 12. No? They want fraction? Uh, it will be 12 over original. Uh, 12 over original. 12 over, over original. Do you agree? You get a 1 over 8. Do you agree? Do you agree? So, what right. else? What is the mass of the decay product? Okay, decay product. Because of 12 mass, huh? 12 mass. This is the original. So the number decay, 96. The original minus the 1 mass. Understand? Okay? Here's the answer. Finish. Done. Alright? So, we actually already covered what we supposed to cover for the day. Alright, but doesn't mean our lesson will end here. Alright, we only spent one hour and fifteen minutes. Alright. Okay. I will go to the blue book now. May you please refer to your blue book? I think it's something like page. Uh, turn to the blue book, you will see half line. I think it could be page one one two. All right, hang on, I will locate, I will open up the file. You open up the page where you see example two. Okay, the page where you see half line. Where you see example two, it's going to be half line. You can read the page. One, is it one one two? One zero nine. Yeah. Okay, so let's turn to page one zero nine. Page. 109. Now, if you don't have the book, doesn't matter, that's uh, still defined. Alright, the follow this. Actually, this is, of course, bigger. Okay? Right? Bigger in size. Alright? Look at the question, it's already on the board. Sodium 24 is a half life, 15 hours. Original mass is 64. What is the mass of the sodium after 45 hours? Can I give you one minute to do? One minute. It's not good if you start with this. Are you start with this? Our life is going to be 15 hours. They give you what? 45 hours. So you should be able to see how many half life. You know? What? How many half life you get will be how many arrows you draw. Huh? Alright, and then every the time you draw, the number after you decay become half. That's all.
All right, I hope you get ready. I'll give you one minute. All right, I'll give you one minute. I will try to go to instrument after that. How many have live people? Tell me how many have live? Three. Entry arrow. Finish. No jump back. You can do it inside your brain. No need for you to write out. You are good in that. All right, CD4. One arrow. Two arrow. Three arrow. This will be your answer. Here. Put up. All right. 64. One time you decay. How much left? Yeah, 32 breath. One more time, you How much left? 60. One more time, you How much left? 8. Then you use back. It is breath, it is back breath. Understand? Sometimes it is actually count per second. Then you go back count per second. Understand? Count per second meaning how many radiation you went out in one second. Alright? Alright? Okay, B. What is the total mass? This one is trying to cheat you. Know? What is the total mass of the remaining? Are these the remaining? Is the remaining? What is the total mass of the remaining? Is the remaining? But I try to cheat you. And the decay for that. Remaining and the decay. How many decay? Okay, talk about money, talk about money. You are given 64 ringgit. Then you go shopping. Spend and spend only 8 ringgit left. How much do you spend? 50? 6. How much left? 8. The one, the one that is left. The one, the one that is left. And the one that you spend. So, 8 is the one left. 56 is the one you spend. So 8 plus 56, what do you get? Uh, then you give it your original. Bahama. Alright, because the money you spend and the money left, total 64. So your answer for B, your answer for B will be alright, 64 grand again. It's trying to cheat you. This one happened during SPM. Alright, so this is the answer. Alright, you want to go to the next one? Next I think for example 5 only there, right? Is that correct? Right? Take a book. No. Uh, after that, it will be radio isopart. I'll probably go to instrument. Only a few instruments you need to know. Start with 960. They want you to what? Decay until 120. All right, and the number of the hour will be 160 second. So they want to ask how many half life inside? How many half life inside? And they want you to find half life. Tell me how many arrows? Three arrows. Okay? I mean three half line equals to 168 seconds. So one half line will be how much? 50. I'll give you 10 more seconds. Actually, this, uh, this part you need to do now. Huh? I cannot be just rushing at you and then give you answer. Alright? Okay? Rushing you and give you answer is not good. All right, should be, you should be doing it.
All right, let's not waste time. All right, let's not waste time. Okay, 960, one time, DDK, come on. Uh, 200, come on, 480. One time, DDK, come on. So for you, you know that you, you cannot write any more because after 240 will be 120. Yeah. So you know, one, two, three half by. Three half by is one, six, eight. So one half by is going to be, uh, you can do mentally, 50. Here you use the unit counts per second. Okay? Count per second. Then you write back. Count, all right, per second. Use back the same unit. In other words, it gave out 56 radiation in one second. Okay? Don't use your own unit, use what is given to you. Alright, an example four now. Alright, I read how long it is. Initial activity 800. What is the activity after 14 days? Easy job. Wow, it's getting easier and easier. How long is given as 8 days? Alright, they ask you after 16 days. How many have like? How many have like? Two have like. Then you draw two arrows. Huh? Oh, easy job. You don't need to write down. This is your brain. This draw two. This draw two arrows. Can do, cannot do. Can do. This is tougher than free differentiation. Tougher than integration. DY dx. Right. Answer? 200. Okay, but some people cannot imagine. Uh, can I read you a draw wrong? Uh, oh, 3 oh, uh, uh, One time 400. Uh, another time 200. You just the same unit. Counts per second. Finish. Done. Uh, this is your answer. Okay. Counts per second. Is it okay, people? Right? Then we go to example five. This is supposed to be the last example. All right, supposed to be the last example. All right, how long it takes for seventy-five percent of the phosphorus of ether to decay? Then you uh, use percentage. You may start from 100%. Okay, start from 100%. I'll let you do. Alright, must, must let you do. Otherwise, I give you the answer all the time. Uh, everybody is scared that um, COVID nineteen will come back. All right, I think it will. No, it will come back. Let's say suddenly we have uh, 10 people, 20 people getting it. Yes, MCO one more time. Five months. Your SPM will be extended. Don't worry, you see my SPM during the hour. Alright? Or maybe you join SPM the following year. Or sit, sit together with the two students in 201, 2021. Alright? Sit together. They, they sit in November, then you sit in November. Okay. Then you pretend uh, I, I'm, I'm the same age like you. Okay. Uh. Uh. 
Uh, I think maybe the politician in Sabah, uh, they probably they never think of this. All right, they think of how, they think of power at the expense of, uh, at the expense of the uh, COVID nineteen. Right. So. You think it will happen? You will or not? Remember last time I told you, I, I told you, I already told you this uh, is going to affect worldwide economy. It's happening now. All right? You, you know the economy is bad. Agree? All right? It's bad. Okay? And remember when we started the MCO, I showed you to you people who are online, I showed you how many people died in US, 5,000. Remember? 6,000. Seven thousand. Now it's two hundred over thousand. Two hundred eight thousand. Two hundred. Uh, you will probably reach in another new high. I'm not surprised. Three hundred thousand. These are not chicken. No, these are human beings. Okay. In a developed country, not not Indonesia, not India. Okay. Right. These are wealthy people. No, developed country. You know. Right. They drive big big cars. You know. Uh, they drive big cars, you know, Mercedes, Porsche, they don't have Proton, no? they don't have Hanchi, no? and then, okay, let's start back here. All right, 100%. All right, let's start from 100%. All right, you do it. Okay? All right, decay one time. How much left? Tell me. How much left? Left. 50. How much decay? 50, la, 50 decay, la. this one is decay, la. 50 decay. Remember, this plus this become this. Understand? This is how much left, la, how much you spend, man. Alright, the one you spend and the one left in your pocket is the one the original money. Then you decay one more time. How much left? Huh? Yeah, 25. How much decay? 25 decay. So what is the total decay? Yeah, 75. So I'm going to put here, all right, total decay, 75. This is what it asks, 75%. Here, stop. Don't draw any more arrow. All right? So one half line is given to you. It's given to you. All right, one half line is given to you. 15 days. All right, so how many half line this one? Two half line. How many days? So there is no question you cannot do one, understand? Right? You can score. It's so much easier than electricity, you know, and electronic. Electricity is so many formula, you know? Right? Okay? The IT, la, I square RT, la, B square over RT, la, isn't it? Alright? And then power, la, and then uh, this uh, efficiency, la, and then transformer, la, and right? So this is the end of uh, um, half life. Alright? And it's the end of the class. All right. All right. Wow, so happy of the end of the class. So, I, I, do, you, do you know that uh, all the years I never let people, uh, never let students go off early? Never, you know. Okay. Never. Unless, unless I receive a call, somebody call me, Mr. Lee, you hit a jackpot, 20 million. Right? But this is the time I just rush out, I don't bother about you people. <laughs> right? I receive a call, obviously you hit your pot, 30 million. Right? 30 million. Everything I dump here, I don't bother. I just dump, I just, dump, dump. I, I just, I just right? the handful, I kick it. Okay? I kick it so that you fall down. Okay. <laughs> okay. So happy. Talk, talking so happy. Eh? All right, we do the instrument. Eh? It's not actually take only 10, 15 minutes. All right, we look at the instrument. Okay, what other instrument they can? Yeah, I think you look at page 108. If I'm not wrong, huh? 108, you see a table there. But there's a bit of difference between your table and this table. Okay? 
right? Because I uh, this is not made by me. There's a slight mistake there. All right, there's a slight mistake. Clear? All right, photographic, photographic, and um, what? Okay, cloud chamber. Uh, these two. All right, photographic and cloud chamber. All right, these two. It can detect every radioactive rate. Okay, tick, 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 and tick, tick, tick. Okay, what is photographic film? People wear this. All right, people wear this if they go and work in nuclear reactor. They wear a badge. Okay, badge understood that it's uh, something they show. It's a piece of film. What film? Okay, the film that people used to take for the grammar. Understood that black color. But once for radiation, it will turn to white color. Understand that? Once it turns white, they will know. Okay? Radioactively. Alright, so if you work there, if you work in nuclear reactor or in a place where nuclear reactor uh, uh, department, alright, which is which we don't have in Malaysia. Alright? Okay. When I meet my friend, the first thing I look at is not my friend's face. I look at the batch. Oh, I look at the, look, before I look at my friend's face. I know they all look ugly one. Then look at the batch. Once I see the best turn color, what do I do? Tell me, what do I do? Do I need to tell my friend to run? No, you use a run. When my friend see me running, huh? you think he's standing there? He runs faster than me, you know? <laughs> so no need to tell him. There. You, you go shopping, let's say you go shopping. Or oh, happy, happy go shopping. Suddenly you see everybody running, you know? one whole group run. You know? see another group run. You know? Cashew also run out. Security guard also run out. What do you do? Continue shopping. <laughs> run or not run? Run. Out. Especially when you see, when you hear alarm. Out. Everybody run out. Alright? 10 seconds, empty, you know. You continue shopping. Out. Run. Out. But when you run, you remember to grab something before you run. Out. It's your pawn already, man. Security guard also gone, man. Uh, toilet cleaner also gone, man. Everybody gone, man. Grab something, man. What to grab? Some people, they grab toilet paper, man. <laughs> Two big plastic bag toilet paper. <laughs> Not smart, right? Grab something like LED, LED television. Good. Then you run. If you run, you ask, where's the cashier? Where's the cashier? Where's the cashier? You know more cashier, man. You, know? you ask, like, you ask, where's the cashier? Until you reach home, understand? When you reach home, you see your mother, you also ask, where's the cashier? Where's the cashier? Let's come here. But we become moral. So, uh, this one can detect alpha, beta, gamma. Alright, I will explain cloud chamber afterwards. Huh? I will explain this, okay? I will explain this one, okay? Um, go lift electroscope. Alright, it works on the principle of uh, ionization. This and this, ionization. Okay? This and this, the blue one, I put here the word ionization. And you know, tell me which one has a very high ionization? Alpha, beta, gamma, which one has high ionization? Alpha, so it can detect alpha only. This one is not in your nose, it is not in your nose. Electroscope, electroscope, electroscope. It is not in your nose. It is not in your nose. So you work on the principle of, you must remember what principle it works. Then you remember this. What is spark counter? Look here. If I have radiation, I'm not sure if your teacher show you or not. I think your teacher never show you. Alright? I think many many extreme video. Alright? Most teachers they don't show to their students radioactive element. Why? Radioactive element is normally put inside a plumbum or lab, lab container. The whole thing is made of lab. It just looks like a small box now, okay? The small box, this size, okay? Small box. 
with a hole in the middle. Alright? With a hole in the middle. Alright? And you go down the hole, and uh, there is this. Alright? And structure, they go like this. Yeah. Alright? When you bring it up, you know like this. Okay? I see, I see, I will show you the bottom. Huh? Alright? I show you the bottom. Actually, you don't see anything. Huh? You only see a, a, a metal. It's just like normal metal, like aluminium or iron. You don't see anything. Alright? You do not see anything. Okay? And you're not supposed to hold using your, your hand. Alright? You're going to hold using a uh, scapel. Alright? Something to, to protect yourself. Okay? You know what scapel is? Alright? Uh, people use, use it to hold. So there was, there, was, there was a few years back. It happened in Kuching. Alright? Some, some naughty boys. Hey, I don't want to tell the school, I could be your school, then you feel embarrassed, okay? Or maybe you feel so proud. Right? Right? This boy who take this one, teacher already said, don't use bare hand. Then this fuller use the bare hand. Then, he pick it up using the hand. Alright? And then he, he put this radiative soft on the face of their friend. Huh? He put a chocolate on, chocolate on, chocolate on, chocolate on. There. So when the teacher turn around and see the teacher, the face turn green, no? <laughs> Why? Uh, because if anything happened to the student, let's say the face got mutated. Alright? Of course, the one sent to your school is more powerful and it's not very strong. Radiation got, but it's not very strong. Okay? But we want to take the risk. Uh -huh. Nobody wants to take the risk. Okay? Alright? What if? What if it really got mutated? After one week, after one week, you see one finger grow from the face. What? Then the teacher must be responsible. Right? So this one, this, you know, this one go to Jabatan. Alright? So Jabatan, they make an announcement. Okay? Never show this to monkeys. <laughs> Whether male or female monkeys, they are all monkeys. Understand? That's why right. your teacher ever show you? No, remember that every school got this. Every school got this. Alright? So if your teacher show it to you, it means that there are no monkeys in your school. If your teacher never show, the population is all monkeys. Understand? Alright? And not only that, I haven't finished. The same boy take the sauce. Go to the girl, pull the shirt and throw inside and all. <laughs> don't know what happened to the chest. Huh? <laughs> don't know what happened. Right? So if you are the if you are the teacher, you go scared. No? Hey, you, you want to take responsibility, huh? They said there will be a tumor growing on the breast. Okay? They grow on the left breast. Right breast, okay. Left breast become bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> okay. How do you answer the how do you answer the parent? Huh? You cannot tell the madam, huh? hey, this monkey law, right? He take the sauce and then throw inside. You know? Then the parent will shock at you. You, know? you are supposed to look after all your monkeys, you know? Ah, then you 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 cannot answer back. Clear? Yeah, you cannot answer back. So, oh, Kementerian make an announcement. Don't ever show this to any monkey. Okay. If you will show you good. Okay, so, so the sauce, if we pick here, you put it here, it will ionize, ionize A. Ionize A, a lot of iron, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. You should know. Alpha, beta, gamma, our eyes cannot see them. If we can see what for we need instrument, what for we need detector. If we can detect X-ray, if our eyes can detect X-ray, our eyes can detect ultraviolet, then we never expose our body to ultraviolet because we can see what. Understand? If I can see, then of course I will, I will protect my body. So this is like COVID-19, uh, the, the, the virus. If your eyes can see, wow. 
Is it right? And because we cannot see the other is a problem. So, uh, all right, it exists, but we cannot see. Okay? All right? So we need instrument. We need what? Detector. So what happened? But the iron, uh, it, will, it will be accelerated to the pos positive terminal. And the electron travel at high speed, it will collide. It will collide with air molecule to produce spark. That's why we call spark counter. Understand? Whenever, whenever, when, when I sudden, when I put this radioactive source, I put it here, then the moment I put it here, I see spark. I see spark. Uh, then I know this is radioactive element. Understand? If I put it there, I don't see spark. What does it mean? This one is? This one is Marco Kepler. Understand? Yeah. Alright? Okay, that's all. Alright? It works on ionization. This one can only detect alpha. Go with it. Electroscope. Alright? Okay? Alright, my right, my right only this one. My book right only this one, isn't it? Right? Hello? Is it? Is beta ada? Did I have that? Go on up. Go on up. My, my blue book. Ada? Blue book. My blue book. You understand blue book? Blue book on page 108, I think. Look at the table there. Look at the table there. 108. Is it, is it 108 on the page? No, 108. Uh, not that page. Earlier page. 106. Uh, 106. Alright? Look at 106. Yeah, you can just go. Only alpha. Look at 106. Page 106. At the bottom. Bottom of 106. Okay, bottom of page 106. Are you see? Okay? I didn't put any any data for electroscope. I electroscope. Alright, only alpha. Spark counter, also alpha. Okay? And then we look at GMQ. Okay? Alright, GMQ actually um, what I put is only beta and gamma. Alright? Okay, never mind, we take a look at GMQ. This is GMQ. Look here, this is how it works. Alright, we have the radioactive source here. And it's like what I draw just now, radioactive source, they will look like this. Alright, they will look like this. Then we put it near, it will penetrate. Penetrate what? Penetrate the micro window. It's a micro window here, the first level. Okay? It was first day, it might come in. It penetrates, it will ionize the argon gas inside. Alright, ionize. Argon atom become ionized to produce electron and argon ion pair, meaning to produce negative and positive ion. Understand? Alright? Then free electron accelerate towards the center of anion. This is made of anion. Alright? This is tungsten, anion, tungsten, anion. Tungsten anion because of anion meaning positive charge. Electron will go to the anion. Electron will go to the meter. Meter here, anion. Tungsten anion. Alright, once it goes there, uh, once it goes there, uh, it will cause. It will cause. Alright, it will cause the what? It will cause the amplifier to enhance. Okay? To enhance so that you see the reading here. The red meter or, or the scalar. It will measure the count rate. Not only that, electron travel at high speed. Electron is very light, travel at high speed. It will accelerate. And this, this accelerated electron, it will collide with other argon atom and cause more ionization. It will cause more electron. Understand? Okay? It will cause more electron and also cause more ion positive. And then what happens to the positive charge? Iron. Positive charge ion will attract to, to the what? To the matter Q, center. The blue one, the blue one, the blue one carry, ne carry negative charge. Alright, the blue one is what? The blue one is negative charge, matter Q, center. Alright, because the negative charge, positive. Positive will go near, positive will go to the cathode tip. Alright, so in other words, I repeat one more time. Huh? Negative ion will go to the middle one. Which we call anion. Okay? Okay? Tungsten anion. Clear? Anion is positive charge. Anion is positive charge. 
So the electron, the electron will go to a tungsten inner. A tungsten inner. And the right positive ion will go to the metal chip, which is given. Uh, uh, all these will be calculated. All these, all these will be enhanced all right, to produce current. To produce current power. All right? Then it will be amplified, sent to the repeater. It will measure the count rate. Uh, that's how we get the count rate. Up. Let's say 50 count per second. Okay, 80 count per second. The more the count rate, the stronger it is. Understand? Uh, this is called GM tube. A uh, GM tube. The net, the actual name is Geiger Geiger Müller. Okay, Geiger Müller tube. It works on the principle of penetration. So only can detect beta and gamma. Gamma, gamma is high penetration. Right? Right? And gamma is high penetration. Okay, this is top chamber. The last one. Right, the last instrument we're going to look at today. Why do we call club chamber? Why do we call club chamber? Because it produces club. All right, because it produces club. Okay, before I start, yeah, remember club chamber? I say can detect three. All right, we work on the principle of condensation. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna explain one by one. What is the mean condensation? We need to produce what? Water droplets. Then gas change to liquid. No? Alright? In order for gas to change to liquid, it's actually how to make rain. You know? For rain to happen, water vapor need to do need to condense. To produce droplet of water. And droplet of water become heavy, they group together, become heavy, then it will fall down as rain. No? You must have three factors. Number one. Alright, you must have super cool temperature. Right? Super cool temperature. Do you know that rain happens at the what? At the highest level of the atmosphere level because the temperature there is low. Alright? You know the temperature is low every time you fly, every time you fly, they make an announcement, they will tell you outside temperature is negative 5 degrees. Understand? The aeroplane is flying at that level where the outside temperature will become lower than zero. Understand? If you put your hand outside, you'll be frozen. Clear? Yeah? Alright, if you touch the window, it's, it's cooling, it's ice cooling. Clear? Yeah? Alright, that's why we are going to have a sponge here. This is a sponge. Alright, okay, we can take away the plastic lid. Okay, this plastic lid. Then we put some ice here. What ice? Dry ice. I'm sure you know what dry ice is, right? Okay, we will open up this one, not this platform. We open up the platform. Then we put dry ice here. So the sponge will push. The sponge will push the dry ice up so that it's near to the platform. Okay? So we have condition number one, low temperature, super cool. Low temperature means super cool. Second one must be what? Super saturated. Alright, super saturated meaning what? Okay, we call it super saturated meaning uh, there will be a lot of uh, water vapor. You know that rain cannot happen when the air is too dry. You know? Alright? Okay, during dry season, no rain. How to form rain? The air is so dry. No water at all. No water vapor, how to produce rain. You know? Alright? So water vapor, how to get water vapor? Uh, then we will have a felt. This is felt. Felt is like textile, okay? Like a piece of cloth. And we will soak it into alcohol. Why alcohol? Alcohol can evaporate fast. Right? Alcohol evaporate fast. Right? Causing the A here to be what? To be damp. High humidity. The A, A here becomes damp. Understand? Udara lembab. Right? 
And then we have water vapor. Alright? Then water vapor. The third one. Uh, we need to have condensation nucleus. Where condensation nucleus? Without condensation nucleus, the rain, the, the water droplet cannot form. Now, naturally, to form rain, we also need nucleus for condensation. We call it condensation nucleus. So, to form rain, all right, in the A, we must. If the A must not be very clean, we need to have some kind of pollution. We need to have dust. The dust particle will form condensation nucleus. So that the water vapor can condense on it to form water droplets. Understand? That's why in the desert, in the desert, no pollution. You don't even have a car there. We got pollution. And no human there, nobody burn. We got carbon particles. So, nobody burn there. In the desert, the A is super clean. Alright? Okay? Unless there is a storm, it blow and you know, cause the sand to be carried up. Is it correct? If not, the A will be very clean. And that's why for rain to happen in the, okay? in the desert is very rare. The A is clean. Huh? Alright? But understood, surrounding us, our A is never clean. Immediate aeroplane flying out. After 10 minutes, another aeroplane flying out. You can see clearly you know, the trail of the aeroplane, they give up a lot of exhaust. Understand? Alright? Petrol burn, become carbon. So, carbon particles, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. So, that's carbon particles. Clear? The same goes to the car. Alright? Okay? If a diesel car, you see a lot of particles, you know, the smoke is so black. So, Alright? You, you put a filter there. One minute, the whole filter become black. All right. So, but in this case, the condensation nucleus is actually the iron. Iron caused by what? Iron caused by radioactive rain, radioactive salt. Understand? So we put a radioactive salt there. It will ionize. Ionize a molecule. It will ionize to produce what? Positive energy ion. Positive energy ion. Positive energy ion. Uh, this iron will become nucleus of condensation. Which our eyes cannot see. This is a bacteria in the air, our eyes cannot see. But it is there. Alright? Then what happened? The next moment, what happened? Huh? Condensation happened. Okay? The damn air will condense on the iron to produce mist. Mist is an English word in Bahasa, we call Kabus. Uh, that's why we say uh, cloud chamber. Cloud chamber. This whole thing is called cloud chamber. We produce cloud. Understand? We produce cloud. Cloud is actually what? Cloud is actually mist. Understand? Uh? Early morning, if you stay in a very high highland, Kenting Highlands, Cameron Highlands, you see cloud now. You go there, you can actually feel water droplets. Understand? Uh, these are all cloud. Kabul. Cloud, right? which is mist. Okay? When it is alpha, you will form thick cloud like this. It will form straight and dense. Okay? Right? Straight and dense cloud. Alright? To show that alpha has large particles. If it is beta, then it will be it will be short and uh, okay, it will be shorter. Alright, in random direction. Random direction. Alright. Okay, this is a very this is thinner, thinner cloud, thinner mist, and straight track, alright, but short, it shows red, uh, in random direction, uh, this is beta. In gamma, it will be more and more random, alright, the tracks are not, the mist are not clear or continuous, alright, it shows low ionizing. Uh, this is what we use to detect, okay, to detect uh, what we call a radioactive ray. Okay, I think uh, the cover one is supposed to cover. Only one thing not cover, radio isotope. And nuclear fusion, nuclear fusion, it will come. Alright, then we will come to the end of the class. Okay? Alright, so with that we end our class here. Okay, I'm going to show you who attend the class so that other people can be motivated to come. Raise your hand. Ah, okay, alright.
So I hope more will attend um, this physical class. So with that, we end our class here. I see you then, okay? All right, those who haven't watched, then you open up and watch the video. All right, all the best to you people.